I don't have to think because I meditate on it. I got it. So you ready for the test? Are you hearing me? So when the enemy throws all this crazy stuff at you, at us in our lives, because we've meditated on what is written, when the test comes, we don't think beyond it. So sickness comes, I think healed. Shortest comes, I think supply. Oh, you, 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 you follow me? Ready for that job? I think God, promotion comes from God. Psalm 75, promotion comes from God. Coming to them, coming to north, south, east, and west, comes from God. I think I got it. My kids, we never go to school. I think of Psalm 115. He says, he wants to give me increase more and more of me and my children. I don't think outside of the word. It's written. Amen. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Verse 8 says, I'm already full. <laughs> I'm already rich. <laughs> I don't know if you've been meditating. I've told you to meditate on that now. I'm already full. When I get in Isaiah 60, I'm going to show you what he's talking about that feeling or that fullness is. That's being filled with all the fullness of Almighty God. I'm already full. I'm already, I'm already rich. No, no, you're not getting it. I'm already full. Jesus Christ. I'm already rich. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Uh, look what he tells me. He says to them, he says, listen, don't go beyond what's written. Drops down to verse 8 and says, you know, you're already full. You're already rich. You got all the God you need on the inside of you. And according to what is written, greater is he that's on the inside of you than he is on And if God be for you and you know he's for you, who in the world or what, who, wherever in the world can, who going to check you, boo? God Almighty. Woo. Sustain means uh, 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 unlimited provision. So when God talks about he will sustain you now, he's talking about with unlimited provisions. I'm just all over the place this morning. Settle down, Bill. Do you hear what I'm that grace is supposed to do something. I, I hope I get the chance to teach it. Y'all gotta sometimes let me just teach. I know you're not. I know you're saying it in your mind, but I've been here. But, but you just gotta pray that I can just get released to teach what I want to teach, and just with freedom, believing that you'll receive it and can handle it. Man, they're calling me to come. On. I don't want to go all the way to Dogon, Wisconsin, spend three days teaching to them, and I ain't taught it to y'all. You got to pull on what's on my life. You got to, I'm not fussing, but I'm telling you, don't just come to church. You pray, Lord, I want to, you pray what you need, and, and then you come to church, and I'm going to get, you don't just go to the theater. You already know it ahead of time. You've seen the previews, and the previews make you say, I want to see that. Well, you get a preview in your mind of what you want your life to look like, and you pray on Friday, you pray on Saturday, so when I show up Sunday, I feel like I can let loose. Sorry if I sound irritated, but I love y'all. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm biased. I want my church to have it. You, you hear me? I'm tired of people calling me to go over to other cities, talking about, and they tell me what they say. They know what the, what the grace is, and they say, they say we want. He tell me, I, 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 I just say, but I, but I really would prefer to just go. You know, let me preach whatever. But they tell me, they let me know ahead of time. We need you to preach on this, and I'm saying, okay, but it'd be a whole lot nicer if I could preach on that here first. Because grace is supposed to do something, y'all. Oh, God, I might be in it. Leave me alone. Grace is supposed to do something. It's, it's meant to do something. It's meant to make sure that you and I have all sufficiency for all things in abundance. That's Jesus Christ. That's what grace is meant to do. It's, it's not just a little cutesy little stuff. It's, it's designed to do something. That means that there are different levels of grace. He told him, he said, see that you are bound in this grace also. There are different levels of grace, and I just want to be released one day to teach you what's going to take me three days. I can teach it to you in one day and show you that you can kick it at the different levels. Receive all spirits, all the levels of grace. It really is amazing. How sweet this sound. God. We do not, we do not respond like everybody else responds. You see it? All right, so you see, when you, get to, when you get to word, some understanding, it makes it so simple. It makes it easy. Because we be thinking, well, I you know, you check your flesh. It's an emotion that's provoked. Right? Amen. Now I get provoked from time to time. 
Somebody have to tell me to calm it down, bring it down. Because sometimes I'm be by myself. And sometimes I'm by myself and I'm tired. Don't push me, I'm close to the edge. <laughs> y'all be cutting up over here, but I don't, I don't need y'all. I ain't fooling with y'all. Come on here. Jesus Christ. He says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Carnal is thinking natural and not supernatural. Not uh, Carnal is thinking in the natural, not thinking in the spiritual. You follow me? Carnal is thinking about you and I, not thinking about how God would have us respond. That's, that's all that means. Amen? Come on, amen? Amen, that's all, that's, that's all that means. We may, we may, oh, Jesus, here we go. Can I go? Because remember the Bible talks about carnal mind. So carnal is a mindset. It's, it's not, it's just, it's, that's all it is. But mighty in God for the putting down of strongholds, watch this, casting down, check this word, imagination. You see it? And every high thing that is also against the knowledge of God, bringing every, or bringing into captivity. You see it? Bring every thought. See it? That's the key I want you to see. Bring every what? Thought into captivity to the business of Christ. Now, this is how, so Paul said, don't think beyond what is written. So how do I not, how, how do I not do it? Since I can't control the thoughts that come in. Like you really can't control your thoughts. Because we, we are in the flesh or in the world. So we hear different things, we see different things, which causes different thoughts. The challenging thing about thoughts is they put an image there. So it's there. so when they put, so when the image shows up that goes against the image of what God, God says, I got to get rid of that image. I couldn't stop the thought. The thought came. Then, there, then I don't want that thought to form an image. But when the thought begins to form an image, I have to, I have to infuse another thought so they can infuse another image to push that image out. You see it? You see it? Well, how do I do that? By speaking. I just say what's written. When I say what's written, see words, words, verbally speaking out words will cancel out what you think. That's how you know, you ever been, you ever been um, thinking on something that somebody say something and then you forgot what you, and they, they said, well, what was you getting ready to say? Well, you just said something which made me forget what I was getting ready to say. Now I'm being mean enough, but I'm saying, I'm trying to show you how words switch images. So, oh man, I mm. phone ring, get in the phone call, you ever been getting ready to do something? Phone ring, get in the conversation about 10, 17, 18, 20 some odd minutes. Get off the phone and you forget what you're getting ready to do. What was I getting ready to do? What was I getting ready to do? So when the enemy comes up and that negative thought comes and he shows you a negative image, you speak the word. Verbally. Open up your mouth and speak the word of God. And you say it until that, until that watch it. That, that makes that thought come into captivity. The, to the obedience of the word and, and so what happens is that thought is high it's trying to tell you that God's not going to do what he said he's going to do look at this you know how you can leave church get a phone call on Monday and make sure I thought Pastor Bill said miracle signs and wonder yeah, this look terrible this must not be happening to me no he's trying to push produce an image yeah it came trying to interject a new thought you tell that that phone call You start, you'd be surprised. Some of the people on the other end of the phone are Christians too. You just start telling them about God. Well, I'm just going to believe God. They're such a, but I don't believe, I don't blame you, honey. You know what? I'm going to believe God with you. They're just doing their job. You just, you let them go through the Holy Spirit. And you say, well, you know what? I don't have it right now, but I'm going to believe God. Why? They be, you know what? I'm going to believe God too. And bring that thought to obedience account. Matthew chapter 4, I'll throw it to you in action and we're about done. Matthew chapter 4, I don't, I don't know what happened, uh, Deacon Matthew chapter 4, Deacon Larry looking at the pastor, but what you doing? He, Deacon Larry can give me a hard way to go. I ain't kidding, he, 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 he think I tear mics up. Like, what, you, man, what you doing with the pastor? You know how he talk, he be cool. What you doing with the pastor? Nigga, we got some cool rascals around here, man. They cool. Nigga, ain't cool as I don't know what. He fly. He, he must have some Merlin people in his family. This is DC Scream. This is DC Scream. He dressed too cool. He dressed too cool. He had to, he had to have some Merlin in him. There's some Merlin in his blood. I, well, he dressed so sharp. One day I was going to make him an honorary Merlin Bama. <laughs> Matthew chapter 4, you there? But if you believe it, don't, don't, see, don't say, see, 
God can tell people just saying something. Just to be saying it. You know, just like you and I can. You know what I'm saying? That people, we say talking loud, saying nothing. Are you hearing me? You know, it's just, it's just, it, you know, we would always say, we used to hang out, not a great crew, but we would hang out, and when guys would just flip all out, we were like, hang on to that. He didn't waste all his energy now. Oh, dude, got to take his shirt off to fight. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. In our day, they was big like, whoa, whoa. We catch him with the shirt right here. Bah! They go down like this. Mm -hmm. Take your shirt off to fight. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Joe, wait a minute. I'd be like, oh, this is going to be easy. Hit him with the head when they put his shirt. Stop. I'm sorry. I, 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 I cannot, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to say one more in my experience. I, I, I didn't come up like some of y'all came up. I came up like I came up. <laughs> I lived across the line from paradise, Canada World. That was the only place that had a pool. As a child, I didn't have a pool. But my mom told me I can go anywhere I want to go and don't be scared. So I had to go to Canada World by myself. I ain't got no brothers because I wanted to go to the pool. And they ain't, they ain't paradise over there in Canada World. They ain't paradise for a reason. You wind up in paradise. You couldn't go over there faking. Yeah, now don't get it twisted. It, it, it's a different type of paradise they talk about. <laughs> I'm telling you this, and I'm going to shut my little mouth up so we can have communion. I want you to begin to believe God for everything that's on your heart. Open up your mouth wide, and God will fill it. You hear me? Open up your mouth wide, and God will fill it. See, so you get that caddy. Your dad gonna skip you. It's been on your, you know how the Bible says you've been on this mountain too long? It's been on your envelope too long, baby. And you've been faithful. See, I'm talking from her envelope. You've been faithful. You've been faithful. You get your caddy, baby. You get it. You get it. You get it. And I'm still holding on my promise. If he sent me the money, I'll get it. One of us gonna get it, but you gonna get it. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, it equals you get it. get it. You get it. Open up your mouth wide and God will fill it. You begin to tell yourself, this is the last days for me taking this medication. I'm not going to grow old taking diabetic medication for diabetes. I'm talking about, you understand what I'm saying? There's no such thing as it's, as it's, it's in your uh, whatever they say, generation or you know, no, you switched. You got a blood transfusion. You born again. God, Jesus' blood, Emmanuel's blood is flowing through your veins. His blood is pure. There's no disorders in it. You hear me? Glory to God. That's why, that's why we all be praying for Tonga. It's got to happen. It's going to start happening this month because it's a month of manifestation of miracles, signs and wonders. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm telling you, open your mouth wide and God will fill it. Open your mouth wide and God will fill it. He wants to do it. He really wants to do it. He wants to show himself mighty in your life that others will see that he's for real, that he really is Jehovah Jireh. He really is. I'm going to be quiet so we can go and do communion. And uh, I want to get back to doing some of the things that we used to do. One of the things is I want to get back to making sure that I pray for you at the end. Benediction is serious business. You read benedictions in the Bible, they always give a word of encouragement. I'm not going to preach to you again. I'm going to pray for you. I may share whatever God says. It doesn't mean we're going to be any longer. But I just want to understand. I want you to get into this flow. And so I'm going to be doing the benedictions. I'm going to close out. But I'm going to, but I want you to, I, I'm saying that so that you have this mindset. Expect the supernatural. Expect the supernatural. You hear me? Expect the supernatural. 